Flight Boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon, Flight Boss, the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And y'all ready? Y'all ready for tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? Yes, y'all ready for tomorrow? Because, you know, today is going to be real cuspy. Emotions and feelings is already foggy today, so be aware of that. Try not to uh, act too much on your emotions. Try not to act too much on your to, to the things that you respond to. Get a little bit more unresponsive right now as far as your reactions and being in your feelings and how you emotionally connect to things. Get a little bit more responsive. Don't just be so quick to react to everything right now because the moon is very it's going to be very cuspy throughout the day. And anytime, anytime a sign is going through a cusp, things is foggy. Thing is muggy. It's cloudy, you know what I'm saying? Because it's two different elements and your and your your planet, whatever your planet attribute is, if it's the sun is your actions, if it's the moon is your reactions, if it's your Mercury is your thinking, if it's your Venus is your love, whatever planet it is, if any cuss is muggy waters. I don't want to say confusing or contradiction co contradicting contradicting itself or anything of that nature but I just want to say it's, it's foggy because you can see the perception of two things but it's really not those two things is because when two things come together it create a whole nother thing so it's kind of like you're seeing another thing you're seeing something new but your only way of understanding that new thing is correlating it to the two things that came together to create that thing so sometimes you dive into this element and you dive into this element but that's only to truly understand your one element but through age or through wisdom and, and experiences you end up understanding that okay now nah, I'm just this I'm not that or that I'm just this it's just the simple fact that that and that came together to create this aka if you are a fire and water cusp right that creates steam so you are steam. You got to get into the steam elements itself. You got to separate, you know what I'm saying, fire and water. But at, but at some form of degree in your life, if you don't know thyself and you just walking on in life, you don't know your cusp and things of that nature, throughout your life, you may play out. And people, you may play out situations of contradicting yourself or, um, you know what I'm saying, not being sure. Or you may play out certain uh, th characteristics of these natures because... It's like you will play into this nature sometimes, then you'll play into this nature sometimes, then you'll be like, dang, then sometimes it's balanced, but then sometimes you're like, damn. But, but you have to understand that, okay, let me set myself aside. I'm, I'm really not fire or water. This is just the things that, I have, to, that I, I have to understand what I am. And then once you understand, you get into yourself and know that stuff, you understand your steam. You see what I'm saying? Stay, same way when earth and fire comes together. Um, that's lava. You know what I'm saying? Same way when air and water comes together. That's cloud. Same way when um, um, air, uh, yeah, air and water, that's cloud. And same way when earth, earth and air comes together. That's um, motherfucking dust. So that you got to understand the cusp elements of yourself. So, and the better you know how to do it is the better you know how to conflate the two signs that created that, that element. You see what I'm saying? So if you're doing any search, if you if you got a sun sign, moon sign, whatever planet that's on a cusp, make sure you're doing research on both signs because both signs is going to give you information on when you combine both signs, that give you information uh, on how that one sign is. For an example, the more you do, if you are um, if you are a, a, a Virgo, a Virgo cusp Libra sun, right? So this means you are dust. So with this dust element, right? The better you know how to understand it is, okay, you understand the earth to the totality, that earth element and the, the modality of it, which is mutable. Then you understand the cardinal air of that as the Libra. You understand all things of air. Then combine those two. Make them make sense together. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, this, this is what dust is. And then, boom, you'll be able to understand that um, what a dust sign represents. A person who know how to think, communicate, and analyze about practical things and know how to put things in the air and speak things in, the, in, in existence and create firmaments and things of that nature. It goes deep, but we could, you know, um, it goes deep, but today is all like that because today the moon, it, right and right now as we speak, what time is it? What time is it? It's around uh, 11 o'clock right now. So, uh, yeah, the moon is actually... Um, 20, 28, 27 degrees Cancer. So for the most part, it's throughout the day, it's like the moon change degrees like every two hours, or something like this, because this is how we make moon charts and things of that nature when it comes to uh, the houses and stuff. But for the most part, the moon is gradually going through this cusp 
throughout the day. So you're not gonna really feel, feel the full emphasis and reactions and response energy of Leo until like later on, until like it goes into maybe three, four, five degrees Leo. So that's gonna be um, a few hours from now. But for the most part, um, this throughout the day, you're gonna be feeling this kind of monkey energy and this is the kind of energy that Gaia is in also because it's, it's very close to the moon so the moon gonna appear a lot closer also the moon gonna appear the same color that we are because it's right is riding the same um, rainbow water frequency vibration ocean wave that we're riding in so we're we're riding the same ocean wave rotation for this mere moment and um also, you know, let's get into it with the moon because the sun is still in Aquarius. So your actions and the way you act should still be, um, should still be unique and originally yourself, your own indiv individual way of thinking. So right now is not the time to be acting on other people's ways of thinking and acting on other people's ways of acting and other people's ways of getting themselves together and making themselves a part of something. AKA, right now you could be around somebody and they may be like, man, I got this idea to do this, let's do that. Right now is not the time for that. Right now it's time for you just to have your own individual idea. Now, if this person idea match your idea, then okay, boom, that, that creates creates the uh, Aquarius type energy right there humanitarian or or association or organizing type energy or making itself a part of something type energy right there so that's cool if somebody um, if somebody's thoughts and ideas kind of match yours but for the most part if it's something just kind of brand new aka Cardano that'll be Libra energy or if it's something just kind of like uh, something we can add on but it's here and there but we got to investigate detail but we got to actually be curious enough to experience and whatever that how curious we is is how far we go into it that's aka the Gemini energy it's not you can't really dissect yourself um, with that when the sun is going through Aquarius. When the sun is going through Aquarius, you always have to remain uh, your individual, re keep your individual thoughts um, individ as an individual. Don't make it a part of others unless their thoughts match yours and you can make it a part of theirs. But adding on and bouncing off right now, that can make the energy become um, opposing, changing, or rebellious in certain type of ways. Because um, And that's how the Aquarius energy play out because you can't have uniqueness and originality without something being changed, rebelled, and opposed against on, um, on the opposite end. So that goes into many different layers, conversations, actions, um, what people are consciously aware of right now, what people, how people see things right now. So make sure you're fixated. It's okay uh, to be wrong. You may be wrong right now, but it's okay to be wrong right now. That's how the fixed signs is. And, um, you know, this is what you, what you need to be consciously aware of and how people organize things and how people come to logical conclusions and make sense out of things, but far as how they're saying it and their way of actions. Now, also now, with the moon, now the moon is going to be very muggy, like I said, between Cancer and Leo. So right now, you're not going to, you. It's, it's, it's a cut in between, and I'm pretty sure all my Leos and Cancer cusp, cusp signs um, can understand this. Sometimes, now you're going to be auto, you're automatically in your feelings. So right now, Gaia automatically in his feelings. So what that means is things going to be automatically in manifestation. See, when, when something greater than you, feelings is in the vibration aka the body we are in and earth and things of that nature then you're doing the same thing on a small degree but you have to correlate it to a, a larger degree this is how we're able to calculate circumstances and situations within astrology now when you talk about the moon the moon deals with emotions and feelings so if that's close and that's muggy right now that's what's going to be manifested now in your life this is how it impacts you depending on where your moon at and how you're correlating with people now for the most part um now the moon it, it now, this, like I said, for all my Cancers and Leos, y'all can understand this. Sometimes, y'all automatically in y'all feelings. This is automatically right brain. Water and fire is automatically right brain. So by you automatically being your feelings, but here's the difference. With the right brain, there's a yin and a yang to everything. So yin, uh, water would be the yin version of the right brain. Fire would be the yang version of the uh, right brain. So a lot of times, we know yang deals with the um, expression and external. We know yin deals with the internal and experience. So right here, and going within. Yang is going without. So right here, a lot of cusp right here, y'all be conflicted and confused and contradict yourselves a lot of times and be confused. Do you do you express your feelings or do you hold it in? And then a lot of times when you're going through situations, a lot of times you hold them in at the right times when you should have expressed it. Then there'd be a lot of other situations uh, you expressed it at the wrong time when you should have held it in. See, so you play out as a contradiction to others, and then to yourself, is this a confusion when you're when you're alone? Sometimes you don't know should I express this or should I hold this in until you understand that 
you're just steam. Now you have to understand how steam works. Steam, you can see through it, but you can see it there. So that means steam sees through reality, but it's still in reality. So steam like to dance. Steam rises. So steam is optimistic. Steam don't like to be down. So once you understand this is the this is the way you're supposed to see circumstances and situations, then now you will know like, okay, I'm steam. I'm not supposed to express my feel express this feeling or hold it in at this time. I'm supposed to relate it. Or I'm supposed to uh, make it relatable and uplifted and, and, and get it out of those vibrations, get it out of the complete fire and get it out of the complete water and blend them and become that, the blending of it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm supposed to do it with warmth. I'm, su I'm supposed to do it with vision. I'm supposed to do it with intuition. I'm supposed to do it with psyche. I'm supposed to do it from a behind the scenes realm. I'm supposed to let it be seen, but not seen. So that's metaphorically. So that's you understanding the situation and what it's hidden for, and you applying yourself, knowing the outcome. So you play an outside looking in type of. So you can go deep, but that's if you want a um, personal reading. But that's all going down within the moon right now. So things is muggy. So just in general right now, it's like, dang, should I express this or should I just ponder on this for, for a moment and see what this world consists of, see what this experience is so I can understand it and see if it's even worth expressing or not. Or if it end up being worth expressing, I'll be able to understand the full totality of it and be able to express it correctly. You see what I'm saying? And and not explosive and that's a wise water sign right there a person who know how to express something but actually got got the full suggest of the experience see a water sign is soaked into their experience and that they just felt and a lot of times they hold so much stuff in that they explode on someone at the wrong time or sometimes the right time but then a lot of times they just live in these worlds and start to move and correlate and start to d dictate their actions based upon that world that they got put in based upon this person place or thing so a lot of times they it come out as prejudging or acting nasty or coming out negatively towards people or moody and things of that nature where the circumstance that that you was in and the world that you living in to make you feel and act like that to dictate your actions may not even was supposed to be perceived like that so a wise water sign will be able to understand everything that's going on in that world and be able to understand okay that person may be going through things also and that's the reason why I'm even perceiving this world like this but this world really is not this world so let me not attach and let me not move like this in this world because it I might be moving in an illusion and I might be playing out characteristics and traits that may not be necessarily correlated to this world that I think I'm placed in that's a wise water sign see that's going deep like deep 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 deep, deep. but you know, that's another fucking video. But for the most part, this is the energetic forces that's going on. You may be in certain circumstances and situations right now where, because your actions are already going to want to communicate and talk because it's still in air, but the way you're communicating and talking is in your own unique and original way. So be aware of that because it's still in Aquarius. But for the, the moon is muggy. So you're not going to know whether you should communicate and express how you feel or hold a lot of these feelings in and just communicate some surface level stuff that don't, that don't, at the frequency vibration of the connection of how you feel with it aka putting up a mask or just talking like you this, aka this is an a, example of that talking to somebody you really don't want to talk to right now but you're just acting like you you're talking for the conversation to hurry up and get it over with now this person don't know how you're truly feeling so that you hold the feelings and the vibrations in but you put up a word and masking and a communication style in order to just you know what i'm saying that's see i don't be having the words to communicate what I'm trying to say a lot of times, but it's, it's all facts. It's all the real. That's the real reality, which y'all not seeing. That's the real reality. There ain't no words there. It's all universal language. Now, for the most part, how this correlating with Mercury being in uh, 28 degrees Capricorn, um, this is actually a complete opposite. So I just played that out. I just played that out live right now. It's going to be hard to kind of communicate. What your which what's on your mind, what you're thinking. So a lot of stuttering gonna be going on right now. A lot of fumbling over words. Uh, a lot of not having your thoughts completely together before you want to communicate what you want to communicate. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things may happen even with your phones. You may um, so be aware if you're on Facebook or something like that. You may uh, like something that you didn't mean to like. You might have found yourself snooping on your ex pages and, and snooping on and looking at comments and may end up uh, making a mistake and liking somebody's comments that you ain't that you ain't mean to and shit that you gotta hurry up and unlock like it but they already got the notification see it's, it's going it's tricky it's going to be tricky right now with this up with this with this mercury being in 28 degrees capricorn you see what i'm saying so be aware of this shit also um you know things need to be uh, it's like an opposite so obstacles going to be there but these but uh, what what's opposite also creates the attraction but uh, attraction always creates friction 
but the friction could be a harmonious friction or it could be a negative friction. So it could be a worst enemy or best friend, but nothing in between. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's very tricky, tricky when you're dealing with your opposite signs. See what I'm saying? Now also, um, with Mercury being here and it being opposite, it's making you think it's, go it's going in to Aquarius, but it's still in Merc. I mean, it's still in Capricorn. So it's making you think about realistic things, uh, uh, st status, how uh, other people popularity, and then you you're and then it's getting blurred with you are actually wanting to communicate about these things and have your and put out your own individual. Um, input on it aka your two cents Aquarius is love putting their two cents on things even if they don't even care about what they're talking with anybody talking about Aquarius just have this innate ability to put their two cents on things you know so with this moon opposite Mercury and things of that nature it's gonna be hard for you to um, communicate and analyze how you truly feel so it's gonna create a few hurdles now uh, I had a one point but I couldn't get back to it um, now Venus, Venus also is in Aquarius right now, so Venus is still sharing and still being expressed and still being acted upon. So people are still coming in ways and forms of love and appreciation of value, but at the same time, they're not necessarily uh, coming in the name of love. They're utilizing love as a tool to get what they want out of the circumstance and situation. You know what I'm saying? And uh, anybody who got Aquarius and Venus, y'all need to not be doing that to people. But right now, that's the energetic force that everybody got to deal with right now. But see, and oh yeah, and that's the point I wanted to get to. Um, see, when I went back to the the moon opposing Mercury right now, now it could cause a lot of misunderstandings on the, on phones, computers, things of that nature, communicating before you really understand things of that nature. But what I was saying, the better your Mercury is aligned with today's Mercury, you may not have that problem. But then, what comes great power comes comes great responsibility so if you are conjuncting if your mercury is conjuncting today's mercury or if your mercury conjuncting today's moon or or say um your mercury conjuncting today's mercury or i mean trining or sextile in today's moon or mercury then you may have the ability of manipulation and get over people who can't express their ideas fully or whatever like that and you could be able to control their thoughts and ideas um effectively but see just because you're on that end of the on the, of the spectrum you got to not be too power controlling because that's when you'll fall short then whatever you're trying to do or trying to create a fall on, on fall on deaf ears and you'll be seen as negative for it so it goes down in so many different ways now we also want to say yeah mars mars is in two degrees sagittarius so it's mars is on that cusp energy but it's getting ready to slide up out of it in a day or so but you know, it's still sharing that the, uh, that energy that it that it loves to be in, which is Scorpio. So people's intent, will, power, passions, and motivations were still focused on their own transformations, on their own desires, on their own passions and motivations. So it wasn't too many people worried about other people as much. But now people are. You know what I'm saying? Now I got that little e extra emphasis back because Mars is intent, will, power, passions. Sagittarius is mutable fire. Being mutable and being able to adapt to uh, your own or other people's ways of seeing and feeling about the world. This is how mutable signs come to broad perspectives. All mutable signs come to broad perspectives because they see how other people see the, the realm that they're in and they like to come to broad conclusions on how to see it from an overall perspective. So air do it in a thinking way. Fire do it in a seeing way. Which is light in which you're constantly aware of and which it could be expressed. Water do it in an emotional and feeling way which can be manifested in how you truly supposed to feel about it as an overall. And um, earth do it in a practical way and analyze it. What's the reality of, and how it works from an overall perspective in reality. So y'all know the, what the mutable signs is. Sagittarius, uh, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini. So, you know, they all come to broad conclusions. So right now, Mars is intent, willpower, passions, and motivations. So look at all your t intent, willpower, passions, and motivations. You're going to get this sense of energy to be motivated to see how other people see what you're motivated about. You want The things that you're into, you want to see how other people see these things, how other people feel about these things, a.k.a. fire, mutable fire. That's uh, Sagittarius. And then you want to come to a broad conclusion on how to see and feel about these things in general so you can start expressing yourself within these desires, willpower, passions, motivations. So a lot of times... What, what comes with all that energy is experience and wisdom and knowledge and, and new meanings and reasonings to the things that you are into, your intent, your intentions. 
See what I'm saying? And uh, so that is all. It's gonna be a little fiery. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it may be a little aggressive hurdles, maybe a little bit of um, friendly debating and things of that nature. But that's what Mars is all all about. Just to see the broad perspective. And these so, the, correlated to how your Mars is to today's Mars is that's how your ability. That's the, gonna be the ability and the access that you have, and how well you're able to do that, or how well you're not able to do that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, Jupiter is still in Scorpio, Saturn, uh, four degrees Capricorn, so it slid up out of the cusp. Um, and then, you know, Uranus is still in Aries. So, you know, it's just still, still things is going to be muggy when we're talking about the moon. So just be aware of the moon. Uh, start start to get more unresponsive. Don't, be, don't react to the first thing that you see right now because it always will leave bad. Soak in it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Then when the moon fully go into Leo, then that's when you can start getting expressive because at that time, you, you'll realize during that, during that time of the day, when the moon go fully into Leo, you're going to get a sense of pride. And you're going to get a sense of energetic force of like, damn, I don't even want to express those things I cared about anyway. I want to express something I see. I want to express something I feel. And it's going to be something self-centered, something that you want to do. So you're not even going to have that many other people in mind to react to anyway. You're going you're gonna to want to express your own self and you, you're going to want to cause reactions from others. You're going to feel comfortable and feel and want to react to these type of things to express yourself in the type of way to cause reaction from others, from something that you're doing, that how you see something. You see what I'm saying? So that's the energetic force that's going on. And everybody get prepared for tomorrow because this is planting seeds time. So these are the seeds that's being planted. So make sure you're planting the right seeds. Make sure your seeds is not being planted around the things that, that's negative and the things you want to react and respond to first. Get your mind off these things. Get your mind more on things that you want to see and things that you want to manifest for what you want to do. You see what I'm saying? Plant those seeds and start putting that. Start making videos about that. Start writing that in your journal. You know what I'm saying? Start contemplating with that. For an example, you might be around a person who got a certain idea or imagination about something in a certain type of way. And they keep impacting you or affecting you in some type of way with this. It Now ain't the time to be feeling and thinking about that on your mind all day. Like, oh, if this person called me, they're going to be thinking this. Or if I be around this person. Nah, right now pay more attention. Pay more attention to what you want to do and what you want to see. So, for an example, if you don't want that energy from that person no more, pay more attention to that. How how it would feel, and how things will be if they didn't did if they didn't do that no more, and write that down in your journal and stuff like that. And don't ponder on what they're actually doing, because that's the seeds you're gonna be planting. You're gonna be manifesting more circumstances and situations like that. You might have an angry boss around you that's doing certain things of that nature, and be like, oh motherfucker, I wish they did this and did that. But that's planting the wrong seeds. The seeds you need, it's the full super moon tomorrow. I'm letting y'all know. Plant the motherfucking seed of how you want them to act. And, and think about that. Regardless of how they're acting in front of you, that's just the shape and form. You know what I'm saying? You could you create it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, you're gonna see, you're gonna, you're gonna manifest a day that the manager just come and ask you and say, Do you want a raise? And you ain't asking no raise. Or say, Do you want this day off? Or do you want help? They're gonna come and help you or something, or give you, or or if you're a person who in an energy vibration of you want more hours, the manager will come in that shape and form. God to come in a shape or form that'll play through the manager in that way and be like, do you want more hours? I've been thinking about you. I'm telling you. You you write this what you want to see and you dump and you jump in those feelings and vibrations of how it would be if it was like that. Do not sit there and ponder on